Uh, meanwhile, Ryan, you've got the January jobs report coming out on Friday. Uh, economists are expecting 150,000 jobs added to the economy at a minimum, with the unemployment rate holding steady at 3.9 percent. The White House tries to get ahead of this report. If it's a weak report, they're signaling that spread of Omicron is to blame if we see bad numbers. What are you expecting from the jobs report? Should we be focused on this as a market mover, Ryan? Um, I think the bottom line is, look, the Omicron probably did affect the jobs report, and we probably will have a light number. But the bottom line is, look, those numbers are coming down with regards to the virus, and that's very, very bullish longer term because you still have over 10 million job openings, which I argue is going to be the bane of the economy's existence because you only have like five, six million people looking for work. So I think this whole wage uh, you know, issue is going to be here for a long, long time. If you're an employer like myself, your biggest issue right now is you got to keep raising wages. And in addition to that, you got to find workers. So I think inflation's here. Um, I agree. Ed Yardeni is the master of the macro. I'm a huge fan over here. Um, I agree. You got to get in here. You got to get invested. You can't sit in cash because you're earning nothing in cash right now. I think the economy is going to continue to rock because wages are going up, but inflationary pressure is going to continue to stay. Roaring 20s are a year. Uh, party on my roof deck this summer for everybody. So, Maria, I don't want you sitting in your in your house all, all winter. We're gonna we're gonna have some fun this summer, uh, and of course, Dennis Gartman's invited. Ned, you're invited as well. So, thank you. You got to get invested. Well, look, we're gonna hold you to that. We'll hold you to that, Ryan. We're expecting I mean... a rooftop party at your apartment this summer.